On December 6, 1994, in Athens, Greece, a boy would be born that would unknowingly grow up to become the biggest force in the NBA since Shaquille O'Neal. What's up and welcome, I'm your host from then to now, and today I'm going to be telling you about the amazing story of the Greek freak Giannis Antetokounmpo. Giannis was the son of two parents, Charles and Veronica, who moved to Greece from Nigeria three years before Giannis was born in hopes to set up a better future for their kids. As immigrants, finding steady work was hard to come by, so to help the family make ends meet, Giannis and his older brother, Thanasis, would sell watches, handbags, and sunglasses in the streets of Greece. When Giannis was seven years old, he began playing basketball for fun, and eventually as he grew older, would begin playing basketball for a Greek professional club that was based in Athens. Sapola, the Greek city where he grew up, was 26 minutes away from his new basketball club. Giannis's passion for basketball was obvious as he passed trials with flying colors and got himself enrolled in the team's youth setup. In one game, the Greek freak scored a whopping 50 points, a feat that attracted the watchful eyes of basketball scouts all over Europe and the United States. In 2011, Ana de Kumpo's dreams of becoming a senior basketball player got actualized. He was promoted to the senior men's team where he continued to dominate the game, making his passion his job. In December 2012, he had already turned into a prodigy, a feat that attracted Spanish top-tier basketball club CAI Zaragoza, who contracted him for four years at 4 million euros per year. He would never actually get to play a game for them as he would declare for the NBA draft four months later. On April 28, 2013, Ante Decumpo officially made himself eligible for the 2013 NBA Draft. He fulfilled his draft projections as a first round pick by being selected 15th overall by the Milwaukee Bucks. On July 30, 2013, he signed his rookie scale contract with the Bucks. Ante Decumpo made his NBA debut on October 13, 2013 at the age of 18 years, 311 days as one of the youngest NBA players ever. He averaged 7 points, 4 rebounds, and 2 assists in 77 appearances during his rookie season. Fast forward to the 2015-2016 season, Ante Decumpo developed further individually, upping his scoring average to almost 17 points per game. On February 22, 2016, Ani DeCumpo recorded his first career triple-double with 27 points, 12 rebounds, and 10 assists in a 108-101 win over the Los Angeles Lakers. At 21 years old, he became the youngest buck to record a triple-double. On September 19, 2016, Ani DeCumpo agreed to a four-year, $100 million contract extension with the Bucks. Ani DeCumpo's fourth year with the Bucks would be his breakout season, as he would further increase his statistical output and ascended to stardom. On December 23rd, he had a career-high 39 points, 8 rebounds, and 6 assists in a 123-96 win over the Washington Wizards. At 22 years and 74 days old, he became the youngest player in franchise history to start in an All-Star game. He also became the first Greek NBA All-Star. Ada DeCumpo led the Bucks in every one of the five major statistical categories, which would be points, rebounds, assists, steals, and blocks in the 2016-2017 regular season, becoming only the fifth NBA player to do so after Dave Cohens, Scottie Pippen, Kevin Garnett, and LeBron James. He also became the first player in NBA history to finish in the top 20 in the league in each one of the five major categories in a regular season. On April 15, 2017, Arda Kumpo scored a playoff career high of 28 points in Game 1 in his first playoff series. In Game 5 of the first round on April 24, Arda Kumpo set a new playoff career high with 30 points but could not lead the Bucks to a win. Arda Kumpo began the 2017-2018 season on a tear, scoring 175 points over the first 5 games of the season including a then-career high of 44 points in a 113-110 win over the Portland Trailblazers. He averaged almost 27 points during the season, 
earning his second straight All-Star nomination and All-NBA selection, and broke Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's franchise record for triple doubles. In Giannis' second playoff appearance, he would face the Boston Celtics in the first round. In Game 1 of the Bucks' first round playoff series against the Boston Celtics, Adetokounmpo would record 35 points, 13 rebounds, and 7 assists in a 113-107 overtime loss. Adetokounmpo's game-winning tip in Game 4 equalized the series at two games apiece. However, the Celtics would go on to eliminate the Bucks in seven games, despite Adetokounmpo having 22 points and 9 rebounds in Game 7. Starting from the 2018-2019 season, Adetokounmpo and the Bucks achieved a period of sustained team success under new coach Mike Budenholzer. The Bucks began the season with seven consecutive victories and went 25-10 before the new year. Adetokounmpo was critical to this early success, earning the Eastern Conference Player of the Month for October, November, December, and later in February. On March 17th, Adetokounmpo scored a career-high 52 points to go with 16 rebounds in a 130-125 loss to the 76ers. Later in the same season, he would help the team clinch the number one seed in the Eastern Conference and would lead his team to a regular season win-loss record to 60 wins, 22 losses, which was the best record in the league for that year. In Adetokounmpo's third playoff appearance, he would help the Bucks advance to the second round of the playoffs for the first time since 2001, scoring 41 points in 127-104 win in Game 4 over the Detroit Pistons for a four-game sweep. The Bucks went on to reach the Eastern Conference Finals, where they were defeated 4-2 by the eventual champions, the Toronto Raptors, despite winning the first two games. At the 2019 NBA Awards, Adetokounmpo was named the league's most valuable player. He joined Kareem Abdul-Jabbar as the second Bucks player to win MVP and became the third youngest player to win MVP behind Derrick Rose and LeBron James. Adetokounmpo began the 2019-20 season with a triple-double, recording 30 points, 13 rebounds and 11 assists in a season-opening win against the Houston Rockets. After a December 14th victory over the Cleveland Cavaliers, Adetokounmpo had led the Bucks to their 18th straight victory, too shy of the franchise record. The winning streak ended on December 16th with a close loss to the Dallas Mavericks, despite Adetokounmpo recording an efficient 48 points and 14 rebounds. The season would be postponed briefly from early March to the end of July due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The season would resume and the Bucks would set the best record in the NBA for the second consecutive year, finishing with a 56-17 record. In Giannis' fourth playoff appearance, the Bucks would advance to the second round but lost 4-1 to the Miami Heat. In Game 2, the Heat's Jimmy Butler was fouled while shooting by Adetokounmpo as time expired, leading to Butler's game-winning walk-off free throws. Adetokounmpo missed most of Game 4 after re-injuring his right ankle after he twisted it in Game 3. Milwaukee won the game, but Adetokounmpo was also out for Game 5 when the Bucks were eliminated. On September 18, 2020, Adetokounmpo won his second consecutive MVP award. In doing so, he joined Hakeem Olajuwon and Michael Jordan as the only players to win MVP and the NBA Defensive Player of the Year in the same season. On December 15, 2020, Adetokounmpo re-signed with the Bucks, coming to terms on a 5-year, $228 million extension, the largest in league history. The Bucks finished the 2020-21 season with a 46-26 record, clinching the third seed in the Eastern Conference. In the first round of the playoffs, they faced a rematch against the Miami Heat. In a stark reversal of their upset loss the prior year, Adetokounmpo led the Bucks to a four-game sweep, closing out the series with his first playoff triple-double in Game 4. Adetokounmpo also led the Bucks to a seven-game series win over the Brooklyn Nets in the Eastern Conference Semifinals, where Adetokounmpo averaged 32 points, 13 boards, and 3.5 assists per game. 
Adetokounmpo suffered an injury to his left knee during the third quarter of Game 4 of the Eastern Conference Finals against the Atlanta Hawks after slamming into Clint Capella and landing awkwardly, and would not return to the game. Adetokounmpo was ruled out for both Game 5 and 6 of the Eastern Conference Finals as a result of the knee injury. The series returned to Milwaukee at two wins apiece, yet the Bucks ended up winning both Game 5 and 6 in his absence, advancing to the finals for the first time in 47 years. Adetokounmpo returned in time for the finals against the Phoenix Suns. In his finals debut, he recorded 20 points and 17 rebounds in a 118-108 loss. He then registered back-to-back -back games with at least 40 points and 10 rebounds in a Game 2 loss and a Game 3 victory. The only other big man in NBA history to ever put up those numbers in consecutive finals games would be big man Shaquille O'Neal. He also joined Jordan, O'Neal, and LeBron as the only players to put up at least 40 points in back-to-back -back finals games in the previous 50 years. The Bucks continued their comeback after having lost the first two games of the series, prevailing in the next four contests. In Game 6, Adetokounmpo recorded 50 points, 14 rebounds, and 5 blocks as the Bucks clinched their first championship in 50 years. At 26 years, 226 days old, he is the youngest since Kawhi Leonard in 2014 to be named Finals MVP. Adetokounmpo also joined Jordan and Hakeem Olajuwon as the only players to have won MVP, Finals MVP, and Defensive Player of the Year during the span of their careers. To start off the 2021-2022 season after receiving his first NBA championship ring in the annual pregame ceremony, Adetokounmpo recorded 32 points, 14 rebounds, and 7 assists in a 127-104 season opening win over the Nets. Later in the season, Adetokounmpo scored 44 points, grabbed 14 rebounds, and dished out 6 assists in a 120-119 overtime win over the Nets. He passed Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to become the career-leading scorer in Bucks franchise history. Adetokounmpo finished that regular season with a career high of 29.9 points, 11.6 rebounds, and 5.8 assists to become the first player in NBA history to average 25 points or more, 10 plus boards, and 5 assists or more in 4 separate seasons. In Giannis' 5th playoff appearance during Game 2 of the first round of the playoffs, Adetokounmpo logged 33 points, 18 rebounds, 9 assists, and 2 blocks in a 114-110 loss against the Chicago Bulls. This game is where he surpassed Kareem Abdul-Jabbar for the most playoff points in Bucks franchise history. On May 1st, in Game 1 of the Eastern Conference Semifinals, Adetokounmpo recorded his second career playoff triple-double with 24 points, 13 rebounds, and 12 assists in a 101-89 win over the Celtics. He became the first player in franchise history with multiple career playoff triple-doubles. On May 13th, Adetokounmpo posted 44 points, 20 rebounds, and 6 assists in a 108-95 Game 6 loss. He joined Shaquille O'Neal and Wilt Chamberlain as the only players in NBA playoff history to post a 40-20-5 game. The Bucks would go on to lose to the Celtics in Game 7 despite Adetokounmpo's 25-point, 20-rebound, and 9-assist outing. He became the first player in NBA history to have 200 points, 100 rebounds, and 50 assists in a playoff series. Adetokounmpo also finished the postseason by averaging 31 points, 14 rebounds, and 6 assists across the 12 playoff games his Milwaukee Bucks played. He is therefore the first player in NBA history to average a 31-14-6 line across an entire postseason. On October 22nd, in the second game of the 2022-23 season, Adetokounmpo recorded 44 points and 12 rebounds on 17 of 21 shooting from the field, playing less than 28 minutes in a win over the Houston Rockets. Marking just the fifth time in NBA history a player had scored at least 44 points while playing less than 28 minutes. He also went 
8 of 13 from the foul line to increase his total to 3,508 free throws, passing Sidney Moncrief, who made 3,505 free throws with the Bucks, to become the franchise career free throws leader. In the present day, Giannis is a dominant and versatile freak of nature that continues to stump offenses night in and night out. This six-time All-Star, one-time Defensive Player of the Year, two-time MVP, one-time Finals MVP, and one-time Champion has been one of the most powerful players of the decade since he's been drafted into the league, and will continue to cement himself into conversations of the greatest basketball players to ever grace their presence on the court. While being 28 years old, he has already been named in the 75 greatest players of all time while amounting all these accolades. What we might be witnessing is history in the making, but don't blink or you might miss out on this once in a generational talent.